Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith and I've got a property for you. This one I'm asking $599. It's in a little town called Taronza, Taronza, Arkansas. And it's in the county of Mississippi. So it's a Mississippi County. If you know where Mississippi County, Arkansas is, it's over by the Mississippi River, of course. That's why it's named Mississippi. But it's uh, it's just north of Memphis and south of uh, Missouri. And it's just a bunch of cotton fields, right? So like, look at this cotton. Now I just want to grab it right there in the background. I've got a bunch of cotton fields. The cotton is the business of the area. It's the trade. It's what happens. And you know what's nice about cotton is it grows where there's good weather. So I'm thinking this is a really good weather area because they can grow cotton there. It's probably grow all kinds of things. You just imagine the tomato harvest you're going to get out of your garden in a place like this. Let's take a look at it. So we're on ruralvacantland.com. Again, there's a price right up here, $599. I should make it like really big on the website because because it's a really good price. I don't know, it just is. So it's a Mississippi County. You got the county over here. We've got numbers, uh, the APN number of the property. You've got my picture up here, phone number. Feel free to call, ask questions. And um, I've got a map because I love maps. And this map is 3D so we can click on it. We can blow it up. We can make it bigger. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. I wish we had street view on this property. We don't have street view on the property. Take a look at the size of this town. This town is like, you can count the numbers of houses on your hand. One, two, three, four, five, maybe, maybe two hands. There's like 10 houses or something in this town. There's not much there. There is a little bit of street view. Let's see what happens. So if we bring it, yeah, so bring it over here. If we take the street view over here, you can see that there's like a general store in town. Over here, you can get your car fixed. There's a mechanic. Um, yeah, so here we go. So there's like a little store. They got uh, Pepsi, Pepsi machine, ice machine. A couple people stopping there. Hopefully they sell like some chips and candy bars or something. So uh, maybe milk and eggs. I don't know. It's kind of place you probably have the chickens out back and you buy some eggs that are coming from the chickens in the back. That's my kind of store. I've got a sign up here. Nobody reads the sign because everybody knows probably who owns a store and their parents and their grandparents. And it's just small town kind of place, right? So this isn't the actual property that we're talking about. The property is around the corner, back around somewhere, but there's no uh, street view where the property is. So you're just getting a, you're getting a lot. There's a couple houses in the area. It looks like there's some trees. Make this bigger. We'll look at it from above. So it looks like you're in between two houses. So I'm guessing there's power lines and um, it's just small town, America, really, really small town. And um, you can do what you want. You know, there's just no, you know what's not here? There's no police. There's no courthouse. There's no uh, planning and zoning. There's no jail. There's no taxes to support all those things and fees to make you pay for all those people to tell you what to do. It's missing. They're gone. They're just not here. You can just roll up and go have fun with this property. Yeah, the state has some rules. Like they want you to have a septic system. I. I doubt there's a sewer system with a dozen people here. I mean, you probably see where it's processing. I really doubt there's a sewer system here. You're probably doing septic. And so uh, Arkansas allows uh, composting toilets too. You just gotta have a plan. So you gotta submit the plan. Say, I gotta do composting toilet. Plan is probably like the brand name or something. Um, no, the plan probably really asks for what uh, what are you going to do with the gray water besides what goes in the toilet, you know, so that they'll want you to dispose of that in a judicial way that doesn't bug the neighbors. But there's just a couple houses. There's not much here. You really get the town to yourself. And this is the kind of place your kids could run around. Bunch of fields around the area. If we zoom out some more, there's a river over here. I think this is a Mississippi River. Let's pull it up. Yeah, Mississippi River. Look at all this state forest, all this National Wildlife Refuge. We probably had to secure that lake before someone shot all the rest of the ducks. Um, so Walmart over here. That's on the other side, though. I'm sure there's one closer. There's Trizonia Birdsong. I guess the actual town that this, in, this is in is called Birdsong. So looking at it on the map, it's actually in Birdsong. I should change the title. So the name of the town is Birdsong. It's a cute town. 
little lake over here. So I've never been to Birdsong. I doubt you have either because it's a pretty small town. But if you have, I would love to hear your comments down below. Tell us what the place looks like. What's going on? Is there like two families that own the town? Or is it five or ten? Or who lives there? What do they do? What What's the... It just looks like a farming community to me. But I don't know. I've never been there. So just a little bit further south is Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. And yeah, that's the area. This looks like all kinds of, all kinds of forests and nature to go explore in the area. And a lot of fish to catch. So... Go take a look at this property and see if this is the right one for you. I'm asking 599 bucks. There's an online checkout. You can click on the buy it now. And uh, this will probably be the first time you ever bought a property in Birdsong. But uh, you can put your title information in here, your tax information in here, your contact information in here. I'll get it all filled out and uh, you know deed it over to you. There is a disclaimer on this particular property. I wonder if it has the elevation. Oh, there's elevation. I like looking at the elevation on these guys. You ever look at the elevation on these properties? You got all kinds of little tidbits of information in the listing. This one's elevation is 225 feet. I think that's pretty cool. It's like how far up the Mississippi River are you? And the, the Chico County ones that we have on the website are like 150 foot up here at this part of the Mississippi is 225 foot. So the river just slowly works its way downhill to the ocean. Um, I don't have the taxes in here. We haven't figured out what the property taxes are on it yet. Um, but so the disclaimer that I wanted to point out is right here. So there's a line right here and then I can't figure out which way to point. So my finger doesn't look weird. <laughs> Let's just do this. So right over here, there's a disclaimer. And this disclaimer is, uh, saying that, um, basically what it means is, there's a small chance that whoever owns this property comes back and pays the back taxes on the property, catches it up, and I have to return it to them. So it, I'm not going to deed it over to you until that timeline's done. And uh, if they actually pay the taxes, I'll deed it to them, and I'll, I'll get my money refunded for buying the property, and I'll, I'll give you your money back for, uh, for um, putting the money up for the property if you buy it before that. If that timeline runs out, I'll get this disclaimer off the website. So if you're watching this video later on, this disclaimer's gone. It's because the timeline's already run out. But uh, yeah, so there's the idea. Um, there's a Mexican restaurant, there's a post office, there's a gas station. What is that? That's uh, elementary school just up the way. And the actual town run is Birdsong. So if you're interested in buying a property in Birdsong for 599 bucks, I got probably the only one, probably the only one that's come up for sale in town in forever. Uh, let's take a look at it. Go check it out. Go drive by it. Tell me what you think. And uh, thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith of RuralVacantLand.com, bringing you another easy, cheap property. And uh, I'm just, I'm excited to to hear about somebody going there to check this property out. I want you to go tell me what's there. Who knows? You get there, it might be, I doubt there's a house there, but there might be. Um, I don't know what the utilities are. I don't know what, there might be something on the property. Who knows? Maybe your your new favorite best friend dog lives there and you, you move in, you drive your RV up and pull into the property and park and three-legged dog comes over and befriends you and changes your life. You never know what's going to happen out of one of these properties, right? You just got to give it a try. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.